what is going on guys and welcome back to the brand new season today we've got a game against Sullahill Moors um, for you for those new guys who are watching this video this is basically a series where I've taken over Stockport County and I'm hoping to get them up to the Premiership as soon as possible and hopefully win it um, I've never won the title before um, so it'll be interesting to see how we actually do um, and whether we can actually make it up there and maybe you know actually win it um, just getting there himself would be quite interesting but the problem I have now is I'm under pressure um, last season we didn't finish particularly well we were good most of the season but towards the end we really did struggle and we uh, finished quite poorly so it's not too great but I think this year we can definitely look to improve uh, with our new players and new um, staffing. So we brought in a new fitness coach. Uh, he's called Cuny Oda Oditong Oditon Od Oditoyinbo <laughs> He's very very good fitness coach, especially for this level. Three and a half star, not too bad at all. And we also brought in an extra scout. Um, I think it was John. Yeah, John Milton. As you can see, was it John Milton? I don't think it was. I think it was Carl Beckford. Let me have a quick look. Yes, it's Carl Beckford. As you can see, he's got very good stats for a scout. So that helps probably bring in some uh, better players than, uh, for this season. So, let's go to the transfer history. And how... Whoa, let me just... Sorry, let me just adjust this budget. Um, whoa. Okay. Um, we're spending way too much money on wages. We're spending... Eight grand on wages. Bloody hell. It's not good at all. Alright, um so yeah, sorry, transfers, transfer history. Okay, so on the outs, um I told you I was gonna release a load of players. We released released Nathan Wolfie, Christian Dennis, Adam Griffin, Manny Pamphur, Richie Baker, Chris Lynch, and Matt Todd. Some of you are gonna think, Archie, what are you doing? You're releasing some good players there. I know Manny Panther was good for us last season. Chris Lynch was good when he came in, and Christian Dennis can score goals when you need him. But they just went up to standard. For me, last season they did some good things, but they just weren't up the the team I wanted to have this year. Manny Panther, maybe I should have kept on. Uh, he's a very, very good player. He played very well for us, however, I just didn't feel he was right for the team, so I just let him go. On the ends, we've signed a few players. Uh, the first one being Vas Karaginis. He can play centre midfield or left mid, and he's quite good at that deep lying advanced playmaker that I've brought into my team. Um, and also, another player we brought in is Richard Bryan. He's basically a right back, a young right back who can play as cover for Bradley Wood. Um, I'm training him as a right back um, and a left back, so therefore he can cover both positions, but he's more of just a cover uh, player. We've also signed another cover player in Mark Peacock. He's got good marking. Um, if his heading and tackling were to improve, he could be a decent uh, centre-back. But again, he's he's very young, and he's just playing as cover. We did actually spend some money this year, money on Tom Sharp, another centre-back, and as you can see, he's quite slow. However, he's got 13 heading, 13 marking, and 11 tackling, which is top stats you really need for a central defender so he'll probably be our captain sort of player in there uh, we also signed Keith Briggs a 33 year old centre midfielder I brought him in he's right mid there but I want him to play in that middle of the field midfield he's got um good stats for a um centre midfielder and uh, especially for this sort of uh so I just want him to be that 33 year old who can sit in that midfield and sort of dictate the tempo. Um, we also signed Roman Michael Persil, who will play on that right mid. He's got a lot of pace about him, and it will be very dangerous on that left-hand side. In terms of finances, we are predicted to, to lose money this year, but I'm hoping from the FA Cup that should come back up again. Uh, we've just turned professional, uh, guys, as a club, um, which is quite interesting because we're uh, nowhere near that league too. Um, we haven't managed to get anything from Peterborough this year. The players they're offering are just aren't good enough. Um, yeah, media prediction 15th, valued at two billion pounds, which is half decent. Um, 
and we are a professional club so that's quite interesting uh, to see um, but we should be able to bring some better players to the club but we'll have to see so today's game is obviously against Solihill Moors hopefully we can start it like we did last time and grab a decent result um, in terms of the tactics <coughs> sorry we are playing 4-5-1 it did work quite well last time it's more of a more packed midfield version of the 4 3 3. The midfielders, were, the wingers are still very attacking. The central midfielders on defend, which basically makes them sit. Um, and we've got a ball winning midfielder and a deep line playmaker. So hopefully, these guys can sit in the midfield, play the balls out to the wings and, and the striker, and hopefully, we can grab a few goals. Let's go put out the team. Start with Ian Omson in goal, obviously. Um, Bradley Wood, right back. Um, Tom Thorpe. Tom Sharp. Tom Thorpe, Tom Sharp, uh, can go on that right side, uh, sorry, um, Jordan Fagboda can go on that right side, Tom Thorpe on the left, um, Scott Duxbury, as you need the defence is more or less the same apart from Tom Sharp, defence is probably the strongest part of our, our play, on the right mid, Roman Michael Persil, our new signing, um, deep line playmaker, who was I going to play there, oh yeah, Vas Karaginis, um, the centre foot on defend will be Keith Briggs, um, ball winning Charlie Russell, probably the best player on the team right now. Left mid will be Dieta Donway. Uh, I don't know why I didn't show him. I, pr I this is a new guy I've actually signed. As you can see, he's got very very good stats for a winger. Um, he's basically the same player as um, so load uh, Michael Persil. So we've got two very very good wingers. Uh, hopefully that will be enough to actually uh, get us promoted this year. It's a different team, but the team is my team. I've built this team um, on what I think. I've been looking for certain players instead of just using what I've, I've been given. All these players have been I've I've de I've chosen myself. Um, I've de I've released the players I didn't really want, and all these players I didn't sign them without knowing that I wanted them in my team. So really, we should do a lot better this season. And the 4-5-1 was quite successful, so we're going to use it again. And hopefully, that division title could be ours. But we need a good start. Um, I didn't quite see where Molly Hill were going to finish. They should, well, we're predicted to finish about 15th. So they're probably going to finish about 16th if it's, um, an, well, probably about 14th actually, because they are favourites. If it's an even sort of game. Um, oh, yep. Yeah good shout um, we, should we should try and encourage definitely try and encourage the team if that gets any reaction never does okay if in doubt passion it out um, okay so we didn't get the best of reaction but hopefully that won't be too matter too much and we can uh, just go grab some grab some good goals hopefully we can score because that was our biggest problem we were actually third bottom in the uh, goal scoring chart which is very very poor we asked we have dropped down to one striker but then again our wingers are far more attacking so hopefully we can just you know get oh I forgot um, they actually have um, the striker who scored the most goals last season he's a he's a good player um, McCrammy, oh they nearly scored um, oh god so basically because I was in so much trouble last year of the board they said that I need seven points from my next five games. And we just hit the, the shot with uh, Victor. And it just goes past the post. Sorry, Vaz. Um, I need seven points from my next five games. So obviously that's two wins and a draw. It's definitely possible. But it's going to be extremely difficult. And w the teams that are coming up against, we should give them a good go. Um, it would be very good that... Uh, the next video I come up and we've actually been sacked would be a uh, quite a bad thing. So we've got a chance to be a fag bowler. Well, corner goes in out to Michael Purcell, fag bowler, out to Wood. Briggs has a sh oh has a shot from a uh, way outside the box, but easy for Breeden who catches it into his grasp. Uh, there's a chance here. They got the long throw in was was very effective last year against us. I remember. Um, all our players are in the box, apart from the striker, and Bins has a shot, but it just goes wide of the target. Um, oh, they've got another chance here, and they have a shot. Oh, and it's just just over the bloody bar. 
right i don't want to see this actually let's see if i can um we crossed it in more oh, that's the guy who scores the goal one nil down not a good start stefan moore oh dear oh dear oh dear maybe because we're on the attacking we should start with counter when we're away let's have a look at the goal set pieces are never a good thing are never a good thing to concede this will load up it's extremely frustrating especially when we need those points to save our job <sighs> ball in from Tordy more just unmarked too easy puts the ball away too too easy um, let me change this come on match stats that's what I want oh, so they have created more chances we've had more on target there's been no clear cut chances oh and it's, it's on pause um, they've got a better average rating we've got better pass completion um, it's pretty even apart from that um, they've had five shots off target now so they're if they're on top really fag bowler there's no one on the edge of the box for us that is definitely an area we need to look at ball come back in Bogle. Oh, it's 2-0 goal down alexander salmon scores it's 2-0 down oh jeez could the next episode be a sacking i hope not they've only had one that was the only clear cut chance of the game Right, I'm going to bollock him. Ah, that was, didn't really work too well. Bring out the passion. Come on. Come on. Okay. Instructions. Right, take out. What have I done here? <laughs> Exploit the flanks. Okay. Let's try that. Hopefully that will uh, change the game. Oh my god, I can't believe we're two down. We need to win and we're two nil down. Put this probably the highlight highlight, I hope not. Downey. Lost the ball. Duxby comes in. Russell. Downey do something better this time. Oh I just that was the end of the highlight. Oh, we're not playing well. Chance here. Oh, nine. Don't make it free. Oh, my God. Nearly 3 0. It changes the fluid. Obviously, with this tactic, it will take a bit of time for the players to adapt to it. Um, got to make a change now. Um, undo. Let's put Vaz on the left. Undo that. Let's bring on Louis Swain as that target man. See if that will make any difference to us at all. It has to. We got this. The only thing's bad. We cross it in. Ve oh, we've hit the bloody woodwork. Another chance, maybe with another corner. Russell. Oh, and Swain handballs the ball. Bloody hell. This is not good. Omar Boggle offside. Another long throw in. A long ball is completely not won by the striker. A long shot from Bins. Way wide of the target. Alright. We've got to do something. Show some passion. Long ball. Mistake from... Mistake from Sharp, the new signing. Not good, is it? 
not good at all. Briggs now. Control the game. Wood. Ball into Swain's feet. Play it back to Russell. Briggs. Carol Guinness. Russell. Ball into Swain. Swain goes round him. Go! 2-1. This could be a chance. We, c we have a chance. I will take a draw here. I will take a draw. Good ball into uh, to the striker. First clear cut chance. We grab a goal. I will take a draw here. 100%. We've got another chance. Duxbury. Ball into Swain. Oh, not one. But Briggs sweeps up. Carry Giss. Downey. Oh, just save from Breeden. Corner kick. Come on. We can do this. Russell. Back in. Duxbury. Ah, come on. Back in. We've got 10 minutes. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. We have two clear cut chances now. We can do this. 10 minutes. Come on. Come on. We can definitely do this. Five minutes to go. Oh, I don't care. There's really card. Right. There's a chance here. Win it. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Du All right. Duxbury. Briggs. Terrible pass from the 33 year old. Charlton for them. One by Fagbola. Russell. It's very scrappy. Briggs. Gary Guinness. Fagbola. Swain. Nowhere to go. Switch to Michael Persil. Do him the new signing. Oh, that's just past the post. He could have scored that. He 